Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Building a Nation with Team Canada and today we've got a massive, massive game for you because it is the first game in the group stage for North American World Cup qualifying. This is a huge game because we are in the group of death as you can see here. Group B, Canada, Costa Rica, Guatemala, and Mexico. All of those teams are pretty darn good. Not necessarily all the best, but Mexico is the best team. Costa Rica is probably the third best team. And then Canada and Guatemala are somewhere in that mix. So this is going to be a huge game. We got to get off to the right foot. We got to get started well. So let's take a look at the qualifying section. Group A has Jamaica and Panama, Trinidad and El Salvador. Group C, USA, Honduras, Haiti, Curaçao. So we have by far the most difficult group. But luckily we don't start off with Mexico. We start off with the second best team in the group and that is Costa Rica. As you can see here on the right hand side. Mexico starts off with Guatemala. Jamaica, El Salvador, Panama, Trinidad, Tobago. USA starts out with Curaçao and then Honduras and Haiti. So just a lot of major league matchups today and yeah it's gonna be it's a big game you just can't <laughs> i just can't stress enough how big of a game it is that we beat costa rica let's take a look at the costa ricans they've got a full squad they've got some pretty good players they have one superstar here their goalkeeper let's take a look at their selection uh keeler navas Playing for PSG, valued at $79 million. I can't even get it out without choking on it. So he's a huge player. The fact that he's their goalkeeper, though, is good and bad. Good because he's not going to be running around out in the field scoring goals against us. Bad news is it's going to be pretty difficult to score against him. Let's take a look. 19 reflexes, 16 one-on-ones. I mean, he's he's got to be one of, if not the best goalkeeper in CONCACAF. I mean, you don't see attributes like this everywhere. Now, he is only six foot one. He does only have 10 aerial reach, but I'm going to assume he's good enough everywhere else to make up for it. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be hard to score goals on Costa Rica. Um, but they've got some other firepower out there. I mean, that striker, Joel Campbell, playing for, what is that, Frozen On? I have no idea what that is, but uh, they're paying him a lot of money, and he's worth a lot of money. So he's a pretty decent striker out there. You know, not as awe-inspiring as their goalkeeper, but still very capable. They've got some holes in their lineup to fill in. Kendall Watson is injured on defense. They got some of these guys are going to have to plug in. Um, some, you know, some guys with lesser value are going to have to step up and play. So Costa Rica, they are talented, but they're not necessarily overwhelmingly so. So this is a game that we can win. I'm not saying we should win it, but it's a game we can win. And so if we want to win this group and want to advance, we have to beat costa rica and we have to get off to a good start in this group stage take a look at the uh the rules of the group stage i think we looked at this before but we'll go over it again um so first leg second leg so i play each team twice um qualification winners qualify for the third round that's no good and then, does anybody else qualify? I thought there was another qualification, but maybe not. So yeah, one, two, three. There has to be at least one other team that qualifies for the next round. You can't have a round with only three teams. So I'm going to assume it's three teams qualify, and then, you know, who's ever next best of the second place teams also qualifies. So I'm thinking there's... You know, there's a possibility of one more up for grab. 
I mean, uh, it has to be that way. There can't be anything else. So we're going to assume that's how it works, and hopefully it does. So let's get to today's match preview. Canada, Costa Rica, we are the betting favorites. We are playing at home. BMO Field, Toronto, Canada, 42 degrees, wet and breezy. So it might be a little too cold for these Costa Rican fellas they're not used to this uh, arctic chill i mean 42 is not terribly cold but it's probably a lot colder than costa rica is at this moment uh we've each got a bit of a defensive injury gardino is got a bruised thigh for us and kendall watson is doubtful for costa rica um their coach jostin campos costa rican head coach previously coaching at blooming uh Cartaginez, Saprisa, so he's close. Coached several different places there. He's been the Costa Rican coach since 2019. He's decent. Um, I wouldn't say he's a very good technical coach. He's just sort of, you know, really, really average um, for an international coach. So we might have a coaching advantage. We'll see. Uh... But yeah, other than that, not a lot going on. Okay, I'm kind of nervous, but we're going to get to the team selection here. We were able to call up just about everybody we wanted to. There are a few injuries. Um, yeah, so we're, we're going to look at just the starters today. We're going to worry about the starters, and then we'll probably see everybody else next time around. But we do have, um, yeah, let's get to the, let's, let's submit the team and get to the lineup. Let's do it. Do it in the lineup screen as we normally do. But yeah, so the big player we're missing is Sean Hundle. He's out. So, uh, you know, no more magical goals from him. But we do have Borgen in goal. Looking pretty good. That's the guy we want in goal. Lovitz. We rested him. For Vancouver, and now he's going to come out and play for the national team. Henry, Jaguer, and Nana. So it's a kind of a eh, kind of a mix match defense because Cabra was a little injured coming in to the game, and so was Godinho. So you know we got more of our defensive fullbacks in there, but I guess that's fine. We'll see. Tebert, Mark Anthony, K in the midfield. Davies, David Chapman and Cavallini up top so it's not really the starters that we want it's not uh, not a f what I would consider our best squad but you know with injuries and whatever this is the best we can do so they do have Navas in goal Vargas Gonzalez and Duarte in a back three so that we'll see if we can exploit that with our wingers uh, Matarita Gamboa on the right hand side Christian Gamboa you know, he looks like he could be pretty good, pretty pacey, good acceleration, good marking. You know, he, he's probably pretty good. We just don't know enough about him. Uh, Cruz, Guzman, Seguera in the midfield, so a three-man midfield. And then two guys up top, Campbell, Joel Campbell. Yeah, we looked at him earlier. He's pretty good. And then joining him, Ariel Rodriguez playing for a lot of teams that I am not familiar with and a lot of players that we're not familiar with so we just our scouting is not good enough at this uh, international level and we don't really know enough about these guys but they do have a full team and let's go let's get to the dressing room pep talk we need this we're the favorites here so go out there and give the fans a performance I guess uh, okay so we got their wing backs covered we don't necessarily need their tightly mark their right back Cruz is coming forward and we do have him marked so that's good okay tunnel talk let's go Borgen takes the armband today I can rely on him let's go BMO field full capacity let's go Let's show these fellas what Canadian football is all about. 
Yeah. Uh, I think we'll go extended highlights. You know, we can't afford to just breeze through these games. These games are too important. We can't, uh, you know, for the sake of video, it'd be nice if we could get two games in. But I don't think that's going to work out. I think we're going to have to take these slow, take them one at a time. Here's David sending one in, trying to get it to Cavallini. Gets it back close to Davies, who scores. Cavallini proved as a, uh, as a bit of a decoy there as the defense collapsed around him. Left Davies wide open. So it comes off a set piece. Nana gets it to David. One touch and then great. Look at that. Look at that. Three guys around Cavallini. One of them missed a header. And it drops straight to Davies. That's how you want to start. 12 minutes in and we get a goal. Here we go. Tebert. Free kick. Sends one in. Sent back out. Lovitz is going to have to chase it down. It's not going to quite get to the end line. Highlight is continuing. Nana sends it forward. Mark Anthony K out wide to Davies. Alfonso Davies sends it in. Cavallini can't get there, but that's a bad header to Davies, and we're going to get a corner out of it. Three-man back line is already under fire. Davies will send the corner in back post. The goalkeeper has to make a diving save. So we already got one on Novice. That's like kind of more than I expected we might get. I thought we might get a just a bunch of nil-nil draws against this guy. But if the defense is going to keep messing up, you know, maybe we should do some tactics here. And focus play down the sidelines. That could be a way to go. So here we go. Throw in Mark Anthony K. Drops it back to Lovitz. Nice little back pass to K. T Bert. Another back pass to Chapman. Getting the start. Chapman fires one in. Wow. Chapman making the most of his playing time. Another guy missing from the starting lineup is Asario. Jonathan Asario. So. You know, basically, that's two attacking center mids who are out. Doing a lot of fancy back passing, and then Chapman just gets a crease. Scores. I mean, two goals against this goalkeeper? That's outstanding. I guess reflexes can't save you from everything. Oof, 19 reflexes. I'd take that guy in a heartbeat, that's for sure, but uh, defense is letting him down. You know, the thing I don't like about this happy face formation is there's big, big space in the middle to operate. If they don't drop one of their midfielders back in like a you know, defensive midfielder type role, boy, you almost got the steal there, Cavallini. Rushing forward, forces them to bomb it downfield. Henry calmly takes it. That's what we like to see. I like to see our guys calmly taking it rather than just heading it on. Davies, plenty of room down the sideline. He sends one in. Cavallini gets ahead on it. You know, that's sort of the drawback. If, you're, if your wingbacks aren't terrific, which these guys are pretty good, Mozzarita playing for NYCFC. He's pretty good. He's probably, you know, he, he's pretty good both offensively and defensively. Gamboa we don't know a ton about. His marking should be pretty good. But, you know, you don't have those pure defensive players coming out and stopping those plays out wide. I don't know. I just don't like the three defender formation. doesn't work very well in my opinion. Especially when you got Duarte not playing so good. Now this guy should be able to do it, honestly. He's a pretty good player. He doesn't have tremendous speed and quickness, though. And I think you need that in order to make the three players at the back work. You need very mobile central defenders. Anyway, dressing room. Very happy. 
Let's go. So, so far they got, they got no goals. So we're going to, I think, dial it back a little bit. Second half, Cavallini trying to get forward. Vargas. Turnover midfield. Nana gets it to Chapman. Let's see if we can make a play. He does get it out wide to David. Bad touch. Gets it stolen by Cruz. And here comes Costa Rica on the counterattack. Perhaps. No, they're taking it slow. Hmm. Not quite sure what they're up to. Looks like they're trying to play a possession style, but we're harassing them in the midfield. Campbell. Matsuritsa getting it out wide, finally doing something with it. Rodriguez. Not so good. We had three defenders right there that couldn't stop him. Canada drops down to second position, even though we're still up a goal. Matsurita out wide. I don't know, Rodriguez looked a little offside, maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll proceed with the changes. Why not? I guess there's no replay in uh, World Cup qualifying, unfortunately, or fortunately. I don't know. Watching the Women's World Cup has really sort of changed my mind on that uh, VAR stuff. There's just too many, too many nitpicky calls are getting called. I don't like it. It doesn't give the ref any, any sort of discretion. Now, we are dominating this game. 11 shots to one, but their one shot was a goal. So that's no good. We only have 42% possession, though. That's unfavorable. 62 minutes have already gone by. Is there anybody we, def we need to sub out? Not necessarily. Everybody's doing okay. Here's Davies. Ugh, just fires one into the crowd. Fifty-eight percent possession and one shot. That's not good. They're just sort of hanging out in their own side of the field, controlling the ball, passing it back and forth. I mean, we'll take it. That's fine for us, but uh, not not a great way to come back from a two-one deficit. Okay, they've made a couple of substitutions. Now here they are. Throw in Gamboa. Gets it to Rodriguez. He moves around the defense. Drops it back. Good steal by Mark Anthony K. Cavallini can't get there, but Chapman does. Chapman starts the counterattack. He's got Davies out wide. Davies sends one across. Can't get it to David. David was open if he'd have crossed that a little better. David's pass is interrupted, intercepted, all of that. Vargas getting harassed. Mark Anthony K nearly stole it, but he forces a turnover to Tebert. And then Tebert immediately turns it over. Costa Rica's counterattack is not very well organized. Lovitz is going to try to slow things down. Let's see. Highlight continues at 74 minutes. Chapman to Mark Anthony K out wide. There's Lovitz on the overlap. Lovitz sends it back post to David. Header. Navas with the save. We're getting some good play. Just can't get that third goal. Here's Tebert. Corner sends one in. Henry can't get it. But Chapman recovers. To Mark Anthony K. His shot deflected out wide to Tebert, who's waiting on it. Tebert's got plenty of space, but he lets the defense close down on him. There ends the highlights. All right. 80 minutes. Another turnover for Costa Rica. Lovitz, Tebert, Davies. Davies slicing through the defense. Pass one man. Pass two. Drops it off to David with the shot. David's shot goes wide. You can just see the difference in this team when Davies and Davis are in at the same time. They just 
It's tough to stop those those guys on the wing. Here's Nana, gets it forward. There's David. He's got a little bit of room. Drops it to Mark Anthony K. K forward to Chapman with another shot and another goal. Jay Chapman has been the hero of this game. A guy who wasn't supposed to, supposed to start. A guy who's been left off of my teams uh, very frequently. He's sort of the best available player and stuck with him. Now he's got two goals against the best goalkeeper in the tournament. Outstanding. Outstanding. Three to one. This is the way to do it. Okay, if we can hold on to this until the end, we'll be good. We'll be golden. 87 minutes. They've gone a little bit more attacking, so you know what? We're going to drop our defensive line back. Compress a little bit. Yeah. So, you know, if they're going to bomb the ball, we want to be uh we want to be back a little bit. We don't want them getting behind us getting easy goal with their two shots. Luckily, they don't have two shots, two goals. That would be frustrating. Three minutes of added time. Corner kick. Aguilar sends one in, headed out by Tebert. Campbell gathers it in. His shot's deflected. Matarita ends the highlight. A minute to go. Tebert sends one in. Jaguer heads it out. Unfortunately, he headed it out. To Costa Rica, who's starting the counterattack. It's two on two. Out wide, Campbell. He's going to get chased down by Lovitz. And he gets the uh, stop. Good man. Good play. Right, that was Lovitz? Yeah, that was Lovitz. All right, 30 seconds to go. Costa Rica throw in. Mark Anthony K intercepts. There's Lovitz. He's all over the field. The left back. The veteran. Sends one forward for Cavallini. Doesn't really matter if he gets there or not. Duarte. Ten seconds to go. Should be the final highlight. Aguilar trying to... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what he's trying to do. Because there's the final whistle. And we get an exciting 3-1 victory. That's what we need. Davies with a goal. Chapman with those amazing two goals. I mean, we most... It seems like we dominated. 23 shots to 3, I think, is pretty good. 14 on target is also very good, especially when they consider they only had two, two shots on target. They did have 57% possession, which is strange. They just sort of kept the ball. And I think with our pressure, what happened is, you know, we didn't get to see all of these highlights, but I think what happened is they, they had a lot of turnovers in their own end that resulted in quick shots for us. So I think our high pressure combined with their sort of very passive possession style led to these at these stats. I don't see what else could have led to them. But anyway, Chapman, player of the match, two goals, 9.1 rating, outstanding. Pep talk. Well done. Great win. Let's go. Get out. So there we go. Great way to start. Quality of possession leads to victory. That's right. Chapman Stellar, 26-year-old midfielder. I mean, he's poof, he's incredibly average. Look at his physicals, not impressive at all mentally. He's, you know, he's determined. He's got some vision, some passing, some first touch. His long shooting is seven, and he got two goals out of that against the best goalkeeper in the competition. So I don't know. It was just his day. It was just his day. What can you say? Uh, Cavallini delighted. Canada on course. Okay. That's good. Take a look at the World Cup competition. So Mexico 
won their first game by a three goal margin. Let's see. Jamaica beats El Salvador 3 0. Trinidad beats Panama 2 0. That's a bit of an upset, I think. Here's Mexico 3 0 over Guatemala. We got 3 1 of Costa Rica. USA loses to Curacao. What are they doing? What on earth are they doing? Yarborough in goal. William Yarborough for Cruz Azul. He's pretty good. He's okay. Yedlin, Gonzalez, Jonathan Brooks, Anthony Robinson, Tyler Adams, Michael Bradley injured, Pulisic, Sebastian Legit. I mean, that's a pretty decent team right there. That's pretty much as much, you know, as many starters as you can get were in the game. Who'd they leave out? I mean, they left out some of the youngsters. Weston McKinney, Josh Sargent, Keaton Parks, Walker Zimmerman, Timothy Way. You know, maybe that's their problem. Maybe they should turn this thing over to these uh, youngsters because the veterans are not getting it done. Uh, goalkeeper's missing. They got Sean Johnson and Bill Hamid in there. But no Zach Steffen. So maybe Zach Steffen's injured along with Michael Bradley. Let's see who else is missing. Um, uh, striker for Toronto. Why am I blanking on his name? I don't know. But I'm blanking on his name. You probably know who I'm talking about. But he's out. Uh, so yeah. I don't know. That's an incredibly disappointing incredibly disappointing result for USA not to be able to beat Curacao. Ouch. That's that's going to put a huge dent. I mean, they can still win this group, but that's that's huge, honestly. <laughs> Especially with the other two teams in the group getting a draw. Um, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to end it there. Our next match coming up is Guatemala. So we'll come back for that. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.